right, I just got a comment from Melly asking if I could do a box shadow animation demo. So this is a really easy one. I've got a gray background here and I'm going to insert a rectangle, just make a square, and I'm gonna make this white. I'll give it a border radius just so it looks kind of nice. And now I'm going to add a shadow to it. So I'll go down here in the inspector, click shadow, and I'll just leave the default settings here. All right, so there's my little card with a shadow behind it. Now I'm going to make it so that when you click on it, it pops up and the shadow kind of fades out. So I'll click on the rectangle, click behavior, and I'm going to create this behavior with one additional state and in that state. I'm going to move this rectangle up and to the left. So I'm going to hold shift and press up arrow, left arrow. That moves it 10 points in either direction. And actually, maybe I'll do that once more. So it's 20 points. And then I'll go down here to the shadow. And let's see, I'm going to fade it out a little bit. And then I'm going to move it to like, let's start with 26, 26 and see how that looks. And then I'm going to make it blur a little bit more too. So instead of 10, I'll move it up to 21, okay? So that looks pretty good. I think right now the shadow basically stays in place. I think this effect looks a little better if the shadow kind of moves a little further. So maybe I'll go to like 35 for the X and Y offset of the shadow. Okay, I think that looks a little more realistic. Now let's just set up the links between these states. So from the initial state, create link to the new state and I'll use touch down. And then from the new state, select the layer, create link, going back to the initial state, and I'll choose touch up. All right, I'll open the preview, and now I can test it out. So that's all there is to it.